And I will, I shall rejoice and be glad in it. I said, this is the day that the Lord has made in spite of everything that's going on. Even if I have sickness in my body, this is the day that the Lord has made. And I have made up in my mind that I will rejoice and be glad in it. I said this day because I don't know what the tomorrow yes, may bring. Amen. 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 I do know who holds the tomorrow. Yes. Amen. Amen. We thank God for each. We can't give him what he deserves. We just do the best we can. As Brother Pleasant would say, we do the best we can to be the best we can. Yes. Lean in and repent. Yes. He just keeps on blessing us. In spite of, uh, yes. we know we fall short. Yes, sir. Yes. We know we're not obedient to His word. Amen. But He just keep on showering blessings. Thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. Yes. Amen. I'll be reading the scripture this morning, and I'll be reading Psalm twenty-four. Amen. Psalm twenty-four, a very familiar psalm, a scripture for us. It reads, "The earth is the Lord's." And everything in it, the world and all who live in it. For he founded it on the seas and established it on the hands and a pure heart, mm -hmm. who does not trust in an idol or swear by false gods. They will receive blessings from the Lord and vindication from God their Savior. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, God of Jacob. Mm -hmm. Lift up your heads, you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the king of glory may come in. Who is this king of glory? Mm -hmm. The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, you gates. Lift them up, you ancient doors, mm -hmm. that the King of Glory may come in. All right. Who is He? This King of Glory, the Lord Almighty. He is the King of Glory. Amen. The Word of God for God's people. Amen. Amen. Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Once morning again, God has found favor in us this morning. Touched us with his fingertip of love, started us on our way. Mm -hmm. If you all by your head, word of prayer with me this morning. Oh, great and almighty God, mm -hmm. once more and again, your humble servant comes before your throne of grace, mercy, and love. I come before you, O oh Father God, to give you the praise and the glory you so righteously deserve. You woke us up this morning, Father God, and started us on the way. Father God, and we want to take this minute, this moment, to say thank you for, for all that you've done for us and all that you, you've given to us, Father God. And most of all, oh, Father God, the blood, the blood of your darling son, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. We want to thank you for that. Father God, this morning, this morning, I heard a man saying that every, every man, woman and child, Father God, is special. It's special when you eyes, Father God, and you give them, you give them that specialness. Because no matter what they say or what they do, Father God, you can always lead them, guide them, and comfort them and the things that they need, the ways that they go. Father God, I ask in your son Jesus' name, just continue to lead God and comfort us all. And Father God, without you, we'd be nothing. And Father God, I ask this morning if, if you just guide me, guide me, oh Father God. Guide us all, Father God, for we all need we all need your tender love and care. Mm -hmm. Father God, we all need you to, to hold, our, hold our hands and lead us and guide us. Take us where you want us to go, Father God. Father God, I ask you to 
and just help us. Help us do what it is you would have us to do so we can be the people you would have us to be. Father God, those, those that are listening in on, 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 on the radio, Father God, I ask that you send out a special blessing for them, Father God, so that they, they can really church, that one church, and you, you are the leader and guider of us all. Yeah. Father God, I come now asking, asking that whatever it is, whatever it is that we need to do, Father God, to hear you call our names when it comes that time. Father God, I come asking in your son Jesus' name yeah. that you just go with us, stand by us, <laughs> comfort and guide us. These are my prayers, and I pray them to you. In your darling son, Jesus' name, amen. 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 Trouble in my way. Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. I have to cry sometimes. Oh. 
I don't know what you come to do, but I come to praise his name. Amen, amen. Our scripture for the hour, we shall be reading from Romans, the 10th chapter. Romans, the 10th chapter, we're going to begin reading at verse number one. Romans, the 10th chapter, began reading at verse number one. Now you'll find these words. Brothers, in my heart, desire and pray to God for Israel is that they may be saved. For I bow reference that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law. To hear everyone that believes. For Moses described the righteousness which is of the law, that a man which doeth these things shall live by them. But the righteousness is of faith, of faith, speaking on this wise saying, in their heart, who shall, listen, who shall ascend into heaven? That is to bring Christ down. Or uh, who shall descend in the deep? That is to bring Christ, that is to bring Christ again from the dead. But what said it? The word is near thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach, that if you shall confess. From the dead, thou shalt be saved. In thine heart, and that, that, that thou shalt believe in their heart that God has raised him from the dead, that thou shalt be saved. But with, listen, with the heart man believe it unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Amen. For the scripture says, Whosoever believe in him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, but the same Lord over all, unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him in whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without a preacher? And how can they preach except they be sent? How beautiful it is of the feet of them that preach the gospel and bring glad, glad and bring good tidings, but will, but have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah said, "Lord, who has believed our report?" Listen. So then, faith cometh, and hearing by the word. Of God, I read in your in your hearing uh, the first seventeen verses from the book of Corinthians, the tenth chapter. May God bless the reader, the girls, and the doers of His holy and divine word.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where would you be if God was not on your side? Huh? I'd probably still be in it. I ain't no go. Amen. I'm glad he brought me out of my ditch. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. I don't know what you need. talking about Jesus. Amen. You can call him in the midnight hour. You can call him whatever time that you need him. And he's a home time God. Home time God. You know, I I was sleeping this morning. I'm going to tell this story. And I got woke up. Amen. Because someone needed prayer. Amen. And God stepped in. Amen. Then I got a text this morning saying that everything is all right. Everything is all right. See, it wasn't me. It was God. I, I just had to be the wheel that wants to turn the other wheel. Amen. A big wheel that was move my little wheel. Amen. But God will show up. Amen. That's the kind of God we serve. Where would I be if it wasn't for God on my side? Amen. It's altar time. I don't know what you need from God. But I can tell you this. If you trust in me, Confess from your mom and tell God whatever, whatever it is, and He'll show up on time. Amen. Now, this morning I want to lift up Brother Barney, uh, Bernie Mayweather. He's at home, but he's still needs prayer. Amen. Roberts, Brother David Lau, Brother Schaefer is at home sick this morning, so Sister, Sister Schaefer is at home to take care of her husband. Amen. Woman we'll from Sister Angela Parham, Sister Rock, Hazel Rogers, amen. Military members and friends, we we'll want from Brother Anthony Battle, Brother Ricardo Booker the Third. And Brother Robert Troy. Amen. And I'm sorry, Minister, uh, Mr. Yes, Miss Alita Seal okay. and her son. Okay. Amen. 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 Lift up uh lift up sister Arita Sims and definitely lift up our first lady. First lady Ewan up uh, lost her first brother, but being called home. Amen. All I can tell you this is trust God. Is trust God in you. I don't care what you're going through. They say if you ask and believe, God will do it. God just wants us to confess it. See, He wanna He wanna know where your heart is with His heart. Amen. So if your heart is in with God's heart, guess what? God is going to take care of his child. Amen. He says that he will dry up your tears. Amen. Then he said that he will put peace where there's no peace. Then put joy where joy is. Amen. I always think about long suffering. How far do I have to go to get free? Right? But if I start with God, I can finish with God. Amen. I just know for sure God is doing some things in this city. I know we've seen what happened on the news this week, but we don't have to worry. God is still in control. Amen. 
They say whatever we bind on earth is bind in the heavens. Whatever we loose on earth is loose in heaven. God, I just thank you for your presence today, Father God, in Mount Zion, Father God, over the airway, Father God. Lord, touch your people, Father God. People know, Father God, that you're there, Father God. Lord, meet us at our crossroads, Father God. Lord, we come to join you today, Father God. Lord, we want to lift you up, Father God, and give you the praise, Father God. Lord, touch your people, Father God. Lord, you see the ones that need a healing, Father God. Father God, the ones that are sick, Father God, the ones that need a deliverer, Father God, touch them right now, Father God. Lord, let your people know, Father God, that you haven't forgotten us, Father God. Lord, I thank you for your Holy Ghost, Father God. Lord, I thank you for the comforter, Father God. Lord, you say whatever it is that you take care of, Father God. And Lord, I believe, Father God. Lord, I have that faith, Father God. The faith that goes deeper than a root, Father God. Lord, I ask you to touch them right now, Father God. From the top of their head to the sole of their feet. Merge with your precious blood, the Lamb of God. Lord, we love you. We love you. We love you. Lord, we give you praise, Father God. The highest praise, Father God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Lord, just have your way. At Mount Zion today. Thank you for stopping by, Father God. Lord, you could have been anywhere else, Father God, but you stopped here, Father God. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. Lord, I give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. And God, people say this Amen, Amen, Amen. Glorious time. Amen. 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 On yesterday. Yes. In, in our conference. Amen. 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 Bishop called me last night. Said, let, let your folks know that I really appreciated being there. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I love, amen, the conversations that we had. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he said, praying one day that we can come back by. Amen. Pretty awesome. He's an awesome man. We thank God for him. And I tell you, we, we had a wonderful turnout. Amen. Amen. Not only with our dubs, we had a great turnout with the youth. Amen. Yes, amen. amen. We had a wonderful turnout yesterday. It was it was a great program. Amen. And I got to tell you this, the baby. Maybe I stuck the chest out a little bit. They said, Pastor Gunn, I want to tell you, this is your church, and this was the best one we had out of all that we had. Amen. 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 So we thank we thank God for that. And also, as I told you, now the uh, the second Saturday, Amen. Second Saturday in September, we will be to Pastor Lyle's church. Amen. We'll be to his church over to Ebenezer. We'll be there in Ebenezer, and then we'll we'll move on forward. From that, we thank thank you, Mount Zion, for all that your participation. Amen. I want to thank you, uh, Sister Ayesha, for coming, working, serving, helping yeah, serve in the back. Amen. Amen. And we made it. We, we, we came to a conclusion. 
Amen. We came to a conclusion on yesterday at the evening as we was talking. We came to this conclusion that, amen, amen, we ain't going to, we ain't going to have no more sub sandwiches. <laughs> amen. Because that's the second time and that's the toughest bread we ever had to hold for. <laughs> amen. On, on, on the first one in Cabin Road, they had, they had a whole lot of meat and tough bread. <laughs> but on this time, when they went got it, they had a little bit of meat and tough bread. <laughs> amen. So, so we going in another direction. Amen. I think we'll probably go back to what we did when we first started. That's, that's a, we had a young man that would bring the grill to the church and he would do hot dogs, hamburgers, and we just have a hallelujah good time. I always do something else. But we thank God for each and every one of you. Had a glorious time here. Amen. Hey, amen. Thank God for each and every one of you. And as you heard, amen, my wife, brother, brother George, amen. George Thompson, he passed. Hey, hey, amen. We got some big prayers for my wife and her family. Hey, amen. I forgot to tell my wife, I let her know now that, uh, my, uh, uh, the, the group, amen, the, the group that uh, uh, was here yesterday after we finished up, uh, they gave me money to help us on the trip as we go. Amen. A amen. I said, hallelujah. Thank God for that. Amen. A amen. So I said, I'm going to intend to tell you yesterday to skip my mind. And then I looked over and you was nodding. And then I was nodding. <laughs> but I want to let you know that they done that. Hey, amen. So we thank we thank God for them. Amen. Hey, 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 amen. And, and uh, we'll we'll, we'll hope. But I think they're looking at probably having the funeral this coming Saturday, right? And so uh, that means that brother, we won't be here that Sunday. I already let them know we won't be here that Sunday. So what I did, hey, amen. What I decided to do was uh, I just take one of my one of my uh, vacation weeks, amen. I'm going to take a vacation for the week, that way we'll be gone and hopefully be back by next Monday sometime, a a amen. So we thank God for y'all, uh, ask you that you pray for us and give us traveling grace as we go turn it down to and fro, amen. Amen, he was a he was an awesome guy, amen. Me and him had a saying. Every time we meet, first thing he looked at me and said, you gonna pray with me? <laughs> amen, because he, he remembered earlier when I was preaching there, amen, by the This says Martin Chapel AME Africa. The master's mighty meaning. Dear, dear Pastor Ewing, the pastor and brotherhood of my will participate. We are asking for a 15 minute message to be given. Amen. They tell you how long it takes. <laughs> a 15 minute message to be given and quiet for each quiet for selection. Please let us know by October the The uh, pre-program, the Henry Holmes pre-program, 
for the, the benefit program over there, but you know that they have a Christmas giveaway for the kids. And they asked if I would come and preach them. Amen. And I ushered the usher, and I quieted the saying, amen. But I, I said, okay. But I looked at that thing, and I got to think about it. I said, no, I'm going to have to get the same day of my anniversary. Just if, if you just want me, I'll be there, but I'll be there by myself. Amen. And I'll just preach and go. <laughs> Amen. I'll, I'll do that fun, but I won't let I will promise them that no congregation will choir and all of us that will be there. So I'm pretty sure they need someone with choir and all. So I'll get with them and let them know. Amen. And on that day, I think I need to go ahead on home and say I'm true. <laughs> Amen. And keep on celebrating. Ain't that right? Amen. So I'll get with them and let them know. We thank God for each and every one of you. And we pray God's blessings upon you. Amen. I thank God for uh, Mr. Willie. He, he's on the program. Amen. Uh, over, over to uh, Pastor Briggs. Amen. Now, I don't know if any of y'all seen it or not, but Pastor Briggs now, they they having that uh, he's he's having a, a man a, a, a park like built over there and it's really looking good. Amen. You got basketball court. Look like you're gonna have a little little running a walking track running around. A, amen. So we we thank God for that. Pray God's blessings up on him. A, a, a. Thank God for each and every one of you. May God bless you. May God keep you. It is my prayer. On that now the deacons will get ready to prepare. Amen. Uh, and lift up the kind and all. Amen, amen. Once again, our scripture reading shall be coming from the book of John. Again, reading that verse number one. John the fifth.
God answers me in a mighty way. Speak to me and speak for me. Give me the words today to tell your people your will and your way. And your people may be terrified. Then, God, as I stand and speak, let your spirit guide my mind, my mouth, and my tongue. And I will not say. Then preach time and time again. Mm -hmm. Grandmama used to say, Buses. It's the same old suit, just a different church and time. Amen. So we thank God for this opportunity to take time and Then we're going to go over to 1 John 4 7 and 9. 1 John 4 7 and 8. From John 15 and 9, we find these words. Amen. As the Father loved me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. 1 John 4 and 7 and 8 said, And know God, he who does not love does not know God, for God is love. Amen. Amen. That said a lot right there. Amen. That, that, that said a whole lot. So when I looked at that, I began to understand how important love was with God. Because God is love. And I don't care how he demonstrated it. He demonstrated it through love. Ain't that right? That's why it's so important that I don't care how we come to one another with any situation. We ought to come with love. Wow. Hey, amen. We ought to come in love. Amen. Hey, amen. And if we come in love, I believe everything will be all right. Amen. Hey, hey, amen. With, with those two particular passages of Scripture, I don't want to hold you no long time, but with these the passages of Scripture, we're going we're gonna to use for a subject emulate the love of God. Emulate the love of God. Wouldn't it be nice if we all would just emulate the love of God? A -a 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 Amen. Now, 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 now. Let, let me tell you something now about God. God. God comes with all types of love. Amen. Amen. See, see all, all of his love is not tender love. Mm -hmm. Help me somebody. <laughs> Anybody know what I'm talking about? So, so every now and then when you come, you, you know, some folk in some situations can come with tender love. Mm -hmm. And in some situations you have to come with tough love. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Amen, amen. But see, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you why our problem comes in. That. Amen. Our problem comes in because we try to do tough love with grown folks. Y'all ain't praying with me. Amen. See, tough love is for you to raise your children. 
Amen. See, if you, you got to be careful. You got to be careful. Because when you come with our love with tough love, you might get something tough back. Oh, man. So, <laughs> amen. Amen. So, but, 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 but however we come to one another with a situation, we ought to come in love. Amen. Come in love. Then when I looked at this thing, to, to copy, uh, 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 I said, well, but, 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 what is, what is emulate love? How, how do, what you mean by emulate love? Well, here it is, here it is. It's simply to, comp, to copy someone's behavior or try to, try to be like them else because you admire or respect them as a person. We admire God, mm -hmm. respect God, mm -hmm. amen. We, we admire him and we, it, I admire and I respect him. So therefore, when it comes to my walk in this life, I ought to try to emulate him. Mm -hmm. I ought to try to walk in love. Mm -hmm. Amen. You, you know it's important to walk in love. Yes. Amen. But here it is, here it is. I, you know, I always got to give you here it is. Here it is. Here it is. One, one, one of the problems of you, we pick and choose where we want to walk love, walk in love at. Uh -huh. Amen. I, you know, that walk in love with sister so-and-so. Uh -huh. But won't walk in love with sister so-and-so. Uh -huh. Y'all ain't helping me. Y'all ain't helping me. Y'all ain't helping me. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, you know, we'll walk in love with who we choose to walk in love with. Uh -huh. Amen. But watch this right here. You got to be careful. Uh, that people wants to walk in love with you and won't walk in love with others and talking down to others, you got to understand they are the ones you better watch because they really ain't walking right with you. <laughs> Y'all ain't, ain't heaven. Somebody said, boy, you shouldn't talk like that. <laughs> but, 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 but it's the truth. We, we got to learn how to walk in love. See, God, watch this right here. God had, what do you have? He had tough love. How you do that? He, he disciplined those he loved. Mm -hmm. The reason why we discipline our kids is because we love them. Amen. Amen. Yes. Can I tell you something? If you don't discipline them, you are not demonstrating real love. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Watch this right here. Because if you see me doing wrong and know I'm doing wrong, and you don't try to correct me, that means you really must not care anything about me. Right. Amen. You, you know, some folks can know it's a ditch down there just sitting watching on you to make that next step. You know, I know. Anybody know what I'm talking about? But, but, but watch this right here. My, my grandma, I always go back to grandma. Grandma, you said, Buster, be careful how you dig a ditch. When you, when you dig one, you better dig two. Hey, hey, amen. Because one of them bitches is going to be for you. <laughs> Anybody know what I'm talking about? And see, you got to watch it. We have to be careful how we treat one another because we are God's children. Help me, somebody. Have you ever noticed? Have you ever noticed the scripture said, uh, in, in other words, the least you do unto them, you do it unto me? Have you, have you ever really just stopped and thought about that? Have you ever thought about the things you have done to folk? Or the things you tried to do to folk? <laughs> Help me somebody. And, and have, have you ever really understood the scripture and, and, and understood that he's telling you whatever you're doing to them, you're doing it unto me? Yes. <laughs> Amen. Watch, watch this right here. And whatever they do to you, they're doing it unto me. Because how, how you figure that preacher? Because I'm in him and I'm in you. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? So we got to be careful there. Watch this right here. The Lord disciplined his children because he loved them and he wants the best for them. Amen. A a amen. Watch this right here. He he's looking out for their good. You're Roman, you'll find that Roman. That's, that's our favorite. Romans 8 and 28. He's looking out for your good. How is he looking out for the good? Because everything, I'm paraphrasing, everything is for your good. Yes. Amen. Romans 8, for they saw all things. Mm -hmm. All things. See, all things mean all things. But, but you know that thing you're going through and look like you can't get out of? It's for your good. 
why can't it be for my good, preacher, when I keep going through it? Well, you keep going through it because you keep failing the test. How <laughs> <laughs> y'all If you pass the test, you'll come out of the situation. Y'all ain't hearing me. Y'all ain't hearing me. That ain't right. it's, it's just a, see, God, let me tell you something. Sometimes I look at it and I say, well, School won't send you to another level until you pass the test. Amen. God won't send you to another level until you pass the test. Amen. Are, are you hearing what I'm saying? Every time you pass his test, he'll move you to a higher level. Amen. But be careful, be careful, don't move too fast. Right. A, 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 amen. Because let me tell you something. <laughs> the, 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 the higher the level is the bigger the devil. <laughs> amen. Anybody know what I'm talking about? A, 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 amen. Because when you get connected to God, when you get connected to God and try to walk and 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 stop you from emulating the love of God. Yes. Watch this. We should thank God for His discipline because He is omniscient. Mm, that means that that that, that means watch this right here. Watch this. That means he know everything and he's everywhere at the same time. Yeah. Have you ever have you ever have you ever thought about that to figure that try to figure that out? Let, let me help you. It's all right to think about it, but don't never try to figure it out. <laughs> and, 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 amen. Because there ain't no way in the world you can figure out how someone can be everywhere at the same time. <laughs> Have, have, have you ever thought about how many people it is on this universe which call the world? Have you ever thought about just how many people it is? And, and he's with every one of them at the same time. And, and, and watch this right here. Every one of them can be talking to him at the same time about a different situation and he know who it is, what it is, and how to handle it. <laughs> Mighty God, we serve. Y'all heard what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. Watch, watch this right here. Watch this right here. Watch this right here. I, I can't use y'all. Let me use me. Here, here, here it is. Here, here it is. Sister Ewan can be talking to me. Amen. And my daughter Sheriff can start talking to me. And by both of them talking to me at the same time, I can't figure out what one of them saying. <laughs> how y'all heard what I'm saying? See, I, I got to say, hold it, hold it, hold it. Now, what did you say? <laughs> Now, okay, now what did you say? <laughs> Have you ever thought about how many, just think about how many people it is, and everybody's talking at the same time. You're all right if you want. Amen. Right. Hey, you ain't all right. <laughs> and a long ways from it. Amen. <laughs> hey, 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 everybody got some ends yeah, yeah. and some schisms <laughs> and, and some situations that they're going through. Watch, watch this right here. Some of us are coming out. Some of us are going in. But watch this right here. If you're coming out, don't get too excited. Because there's a lot. Watch this right here. You're going to wind up going right back in. Help, help me somebody. <laughs> We can emulate God's love by displaying tough love also. We should discipline our children with firmness and love and work, eh, 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 work, work courageously for the good of others. Good God of mine. Here it is. Then God demonstrates tender love. Mm, ain't that all right? Tender love. For, for they... Turn unto me according to thy tender mercy. That's Psalm 69 and 16. Psalm 69 and 16. If you want to know about his tender love, God has tough love. He has tender love. God is, God love is not only tough, but it's also tender. He cares. He understands and he's touched with the feelings of our infirmities. Amen. Good God of my four and fifteen. That's in Hebrew four and fifteen. Let me read that again. God is not only not God is not only tough love, but he is also tender. Amen. He cares, he understands, mm -hmm. and is touched with the feelings 
of our infirmity. He he knows what it feel like. Yes. Amen. He knows what it feel like to be lied on. Yes. He knows what it feel like to be talked about. Yes. He knows how what it feels to set traps and things for you. Yeah. Because when he was healed, that's what they done to him. Yeah. And watch this right here. He was, he, he was healed, but he was also here in human form. Yes. Good God Almighty. He, watch this right here. He, he was human and he was divine. Yes. Good God Almighty. Watch this, but he didn't use none of his divinity. Mm. ooh -wee. You know, uh, uh, if that had been me, they'd probably have uh, treat me all kind of ways. I'd have used a little bit on you. Hey, man, I wouldn't give you a lot. I didn't know who I was. Like, <laughs> like anybody know what I'm talking about? Hey, man, you, you know how y'all used to be. You know, some of you still like that. <laughs> you know how you used to be. Huh? You, 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 you better ask somebody. <laughs> Amen. Just in case you didn't know, but he would have asked somebody. Amen, amen, amen. Watch, watch this right here. He understands. He knows. He knows about it. That was the purpose of him coming. Yes. And him coming in human form. Yes. yes. That, that's why he sat inside of the Father. Plead yes. my case. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Yes. It's because he, he, he has been through it. He have been there, and he have been through what we are going through, yes, right. and and he, he he went through what we are going through to demonstrate us that we could go through the yes. same thing that he went through without sinning. Amen. 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 And let me tell you something: that it took some years. This just didn't come to me overnight. Amen. When I first started preaching, you called me a skipper. I called you a flipper. <laughs> hey, help me somebody. Amen. And a dipper too. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Amen. Hey, see, it, see, this is a growing process. Yes, it, is. it just don't happen overnight. Amen. Watch this right here. I know some of us, uh, you know, I've been in church for years. Some of us have been in church for years. But watch this right here. Hey, amen. We, watch this. Watch this. We, we are still crawling. Mm. Some of us is, you know, we, we are toddling. Walk with me, so I don't know what I'm and, and, and that's the reason why I want some walk. Because I'm toddling and, and I mess around and turn loose. Help, help, help me, somebody. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Amen. And, 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 and I don't care how long you live here, you will never get grown in this world. Help me, somebody. Amen. That's why the songwriter said, I don't know what. I'll understand better by and by. Yeah. A -a 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 Amen. See, some things I can't understand because right now I'm not just like him. All right. Amen. A -a 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 -a. But when the change comes and I'm just like him, then I'll understand by and by. Anybody yes. know what I'm talking yes. about? Yes. Amen. God's love, mercy, and grace are extended to all people in all places at all times. Mm -hmm. That's another thing. His love, I'm going back to all these people, his love, his mercy, and his grace can be extended to all of us all the time at the same time. Yes. You know he got a whole lot of grace and mercy. Yeah. Hey, hey, because there's a whole lot of us. Amen. A whole lot we can be extended to all of us at the same time. Mm -hmm. Emulate God's tender love. Heed his word. Be ye kind to one another. Tender hearted to one another. Forgiving one another. Mm -hmm. hey, amen. And walking in faith with one another. Mm -hmm. Ain't that good right there? Mm -hmm. See, when I start emulating God, here's what I do. I start emulating him. I walk in tender love. And when I walk in tender love, I heed to his word. Yes. Amen. And, and his word tells me that I need to be kind unto others. Mm. Can I take it a further step? You ought to be kind to everyone. Amen. Even, even them folk that don't, you know, them folk don't. You know, they act like they're all right. But they really ain't all right. Be kind to them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Because watch this right here. 
I always, not only, not only I tell you here in Mount Zion, I tell another preacher, and I say I tell it everywhere I go, I don't care how you treat me, I don't care what you do to me, all I'm going to demonstrate is him. Amen, amen. And if I if I can walk demonstrating him, he'll fight all my battles. Yes, amen. Ooh, that's good right there. Yes, amen. amen. And watch this right here. Watch this right here. If, if you got to fight, you need to fight with me. <laughs> amen. But, but, but here it is. I ain't going to fight you. <laughs> Why should I fight when I got somebody to fight for? Right. Yes. 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 Y'all hear what I'm saying? And watch this right here. And, and and the one that's fighting for me, your arm's too sharp. <laughs> All you're doing is swinging. You can't hit it. So walk with me, somebody. Hey, 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 amen. Watch this right here. But he but 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 he'll put something on you. Yes, he will. Amen. Here, watch this right here. Watch it. Oh, Lord, somebody. I'm going to mess up now. Here it is. He'll give you diabetes. He'll run your blood pressure up. Amen. He'll, he'll put you down on your bed of affliction. Yeah. And when he puts you down now, He'll let you know why you're down there. Oh, Any, anybody know what I'm talking about? That's the kind of God that we say. Watch it. Why do we fight one another? Watch it. We don't need to fight one another. We need to fight Satan. Yes. Okay. And his little imps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they ain't nothing but little imps. Amen. Amen. Watch this right here. He, everything he tells you is deception. Amen. He, he just, watch it. He just like a man been out on the desert. And thirsty. Everything he see look like water. <laughs> Amen. It looked like it's there, but it ain't there. Yeah. That's why the Bible says Satan goes to and fro as a roaring lion. Then say if he was a roaring lion, he go through pretending to be a roaring lion. All he do is go making the loud sound. Help me somebody. <laughs> Amen. Watch this right here. You ain't seen it, but you just heard it, and you're afraid of what you heard. Right. Walk with right. somebody. Wow. And see, and that, that, that's, that's why he make that noise. Mm -hmm. Amen. He just roaring just as loud, and you just scared as you want to be. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Somebody said, but God. But God. Uh, I got to get out of here. Let me get out of here. Watch, watch this right here. Now I got to move a little further. Move a little further. God love is trustworthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a good one right there. I say, God love is trustworthy. You got to be careful how you trust folk in these days and time. Because folk will act like they all right with you. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, amen. They, watch this right here. They just like that song they sung a long time ago. Oh, yes. I'm a great pretend. They pretend to be somebody that they're not. Some folks sit in church don't know no more about God than I do about flying a jet. Y'all ain't walking. And, and I say that because you really don't have a connection with him. All right. But watch this. You can get one. Yes. Amen. All you got to do is just surrender yourself unto yes. him. Yes. A a amen. And he'll take over. And the spirit will lead and guide you and bring you into all truth that you yes. need to know. Yes. Well, and watch this right here. You, you think you done had a party? You ain't had a party till you have a Holy Ghost party. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yes. A a a amen. That, that's a real party. Amen. It's a party so good you can't explain it. Right. Help, help me somebody. You give me like grandmama. Bus, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Amen. I, I said, Grandmama, you was all over the place. She said, honey, I just don't know what happened. <laughs> Something got a hold to me. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And it'll be a hold to you. Yes, Everybody, and, and watch this. You ain't got to be in church for to get a hold to you. That's right. You can be home, ran the house, cleaning house, praising God, and He will get a hope to you. And the neighbors will think you crazy in there by yourself. Hey, hey, amen. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Hey, amen. I, I, I remember before I started preaching, I was staying at this house in the neighborhood. The neighbor came over there and said, Are y'all having a seance over there tonight? Hey, amen. Come to, find, come to find out, I was. 
She used to sound like I was having a seance. <laughs> Tell me somebody. Somebody said, but God. God love is trustworthy. He have, he have loved thee with an everlasting love. He have an everlasting His love never changes. Yes, See, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Some folks love a change. Mm -hmm. You know, even sang a little song. <laughs> this is a thin line mm -hmm. between love and hate. <laughs> Are y'all heard what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. hey, 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 amen. Real love is everlasting love. <laughs> hey, 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 amen. That's what they call that agape love. The love of God. The love of God is everlasting. Watch this. Even though we ain't together, I still love you. Yes. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yes. Amen. 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 You, you, you know, y'all you know, not separate, but if you just got to separate, you ought to separate in love. <laughs> <laughs> Help me somebody. Amen. Separate can't stand one another. Amen. I ain't going in there for here that. <laughs> Help me somebody. You ought to call in there and say, how you doing, honey? Good, good to see you. Hey, man, you're looking good. <laughs> Even if you're not. <laughs> Help me, somebody. Hey, man, hey, man. Somebody said, shut up, boy. <laughs> hey, man. Today's society is sadly lacking when it comes to trustworthy love. That's the truth. That is one right there. Can I say that again? Today's society is sadly lacking when it comes to trustworthy love. Amen. But folks folk only love you for a little while. <laughs> Amen. I don't, know, I don't know. Watch this right here. Watch this right here. You can't fall in and out of love. I'm going to leave that in the wrong. <laughs> See, that long. We picked that up in Bible study. <laughs> amen. Amen. All uh, right, listen. Divorce rates continuously to rise. Yes. You married, you married until everlasting. Some folks get married on Tuesday. <laughs> Going back home by Friday. <laughs> Anybody know what I'm talking about? Amen. 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 They ain't lasting as long. Because we're not getting word, not getting married out of love. Can I go here? We getting married out of lust. Walk with me, somebody. Amen. Lust will make you think you love. <laughs> Help me, somebody. Everlasting love is everlasting love. Thank God. Thank God that he, he did hook me up. Amen. He gave me somebody I can have an everlasting love. Amen. 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 That's that letter for 50 years. If that ain't love, I don't put love in. Amen. Amen. She had love me put up with me for 50 years. Sometimes I couldn't put up with me. I didn't know what I was going to do with myself. <laughs> and he gave me a godly woman. Yes. You, you know, you ought to thank God if you got a godly woman or you got a godly man. You ought to thank God. Yes. Hey, amen. That's what you're looking for. And can I tell y'all something before I leave that? And can I, just because you got a godly woman or a godly man don't mean y'all ain't going to have no ups and downs. Amen. Don't mean, don't, don't mean. It, it, every day ain't going to be no honey, honey. <laughs> Amen. Every day you won't say, hey, darling. <laughs> you'll say, hey, and I lead the other up to you. <laughs> nah, walk with me, somebody. Amen. But that don't mean that you still don't love one another. See, what you got to learn to do, you got to walk out those and cool off. Yeah. Walk out there and cool off. I don't have to walk out there and cool off. But you're in a train me way. <laughs> Amen. I'll be just fussing up. Raising all kinds of things. You know you feel like a fool when you don't want to do any talking. <laughs> After a little while, you really feel crazy. <laughs> you, you know, I'm raising all kinds of things. All she done does is just sit over there and say, God, 
That's your man. <laughs> <laughs> Help me somebody. Let me tell you, he'll put you back in place. Sure will. Yeah, Won't be good a few minutes, you'll be apologizing. <laughs> Help me somebody. Let me, let me move on. We, we, we should be steadfast and dependable, also loving in deeds and truth. Listen, we should be stood back. Amen. Unmovable. Ain't that all right? Yeah. Amen. And de oh God, that's a word there. And dependent. Uh -huh. Amen. No her, and she ought to be able to depend on me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Watch this. I'm bringing it home. And when it comes to the church family, we ought to be dependable with one another. That's yeah. right. That's right. You ought to be able to depend on me. Yes. All of you able to depend on you. Yes. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Amen. But we live in a time now when the Lord is so wonder. Mm -hmm. Help me somebody. Mm -hmm. But God's going to get us all right. Yes. If you stay connected to him, I know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. I know what I'm talking about. When I first started preaching, watch this right here. When I first started preaching, just because I was preaching, had nothing changed. Mm -hmm. I was still the same old, same old. Amen. Call myself slip. <laughs> Amen. They didn't see me, but he did. Yes. Ain't, ain't, ain't that all right? Mm -hmm. Amen. But but I kept on doing what he had called on me to do. Yes. And by me standing there, standing firm in what he had called me to do, the word that I was sending all of a sudden turned around and come back and got in me. Mm -hmm. uh, and when it got in in my life. Help me somebody. Let me tell you something. If you allow the word of God to get into your heart, it'll make a change in your life. Amen. Amen. You'll start seeing things different. You'll walk different. You'll talk different. Oh, walk with me somebody. Amen. I knew this wasn't going to be no shopping thing. <laughs> now you're going to talk about love. Help me somebody. Amen. Because see, love is an action word. Amen. You, you know, folk too quick to tell you that. Don't even know. Love you. <laughs> Help me somebody. We ought to, but it's just a word that we just use. Mm -hmm. It have became something that we feel like that's what we're supposed to say. <laughs> Help me somebody. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Amen. Hey, I know I told y'all this a thousand times, but I never will forget it. When I first moved, went to Harper Chapel, all of them running around down there and probably running up. We love you, Pastor. We love you. Love you, Pastor. Amen. I had one lady. Amen. They came to me and said, well, Pastor, I ain't going to tell you, I love you. But I really don't know nothing about you. <laughs> Amen. And as time went by, about a year later, she came to me. She said, Pastor, I can tell you now that I really love you. Amen. That made me think about the other. <laughs> you know, it was a wonder. Help me somebody. Because, see, love is demonstrated. It's an action word. Amen. Here it is. Here it is. People possess pleasure and popularity fail. But God never loved, never failed. That's good. I'm going to end this thing. Here it is. Before we can emulate God's love, we need to possess his love. Before I can emulate his love, I have to have his love in me. Did y'all hear what I said? And if I got the love of God in me, I won't talk about my sister or my brother. Amen. Amen. I, I know I done told you this. I never will forget it. That's why I love Bishop Moss. Right? Down his house talking about a preacher. Just talking about it. Told me my brother. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Amen. Bishop Moss said, hey, wait a minute, Doc. Is he going to be our conversation? If he's going to be our conversation, let me go in here and call him. You need to be here. <laughs> Amen. Can I tell you something? Shut me up right now. <laughs> <laughs> y'all heard what I'm saying? Because see, what he did, he demonstrated love. He showed me, he showed me if I got to, if I need to talk down my brother, I need to talk down my brother to my brother. So, so he can 
Because we're looking at it the wrong way. We sit down and talk this thing out, then we can get a better understanding. Anybody know what I'm talking about? He taught me that. Amen. We must totally, here he is, we must totally commit ourselves to God to be filled with his love. Did you hear what I said? In order to be filled with the love of God, you must totally commit yourself to God. Hmm. Commit myself to God in order to be. Watch this right here. It didn't say I didn't. I didn't have some of the love. I didn't demonstrate some of the love of God. Amen. But in order for me to be filled with the love of God, I have to totally commit myself to Him. A -a 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 amen. Amen. And, and I can understand that He ain't gonna. To he ain't gonna totally fill me with His love, and I'm half and half. I'm halfway with him and halfway not. Yeah. You know, I serve him. I, I serve him on Sunday and serve something else on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Yeah. Amen. And then serve another on Saturday. <laughs> Amen. But come right back in there Sunday morning. Amen. Spray it down, gobble it down, help me somebody, and still trying to pray. Amen. Ain't nothing wrong with it, but if you're gonna praise it, if you're gonna do it, you ought to do it wholeheartedly. You ought to be willing to give up those things in order to surrender yourself. Man, can I tell you something? It ain't an easy task. Amen. Amen. Here, here it is. And this is the last one. First John 4 and 8. His love brings victory. Now. Love is tragic. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Love calls you to give. For God so loved that he would. He Last now that you probably stand to your feet as we get ready to extend the invitation to the disciple I want to say to you now that the invitation now is
imagine that you're praying for the message. Amen. We pray God's blessings upon each and every one of you. Amen. Until we meet again. I'm going to ask now that you will try to stand. I will close with prayer and I will benediction. Let us pray. Our Father, our God, our Maker, our Sustainer. Lord God, we come now once again to say thank you. Thank you for what our eyes have seen, our ears. Thank you for the song, the prayers. Thank you most of all for your word. Now, Father God, we speak blessings upon each and every one under the sound of my voice. Then, God, as we get ready to prepare to leave this place, never leave your presence. Praying, God, that you give each one traveling grace. Watch over us now. We may journey back to our destination safe. Now, may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide in each and every one of us. Yes, forth and forevermore. And they all cry together.